My name's Greg Marnie. I'm president of the Hardware Precinct Association. I'm also director of a gallery in Hardware Lane, which is called Marnie's Galleries. About four years ago, um, the Lord Mayor, who works very closely with the precincts, asked me, what, what, what does the precinct want for Christmas? And I said, what we want is, is trees in, in Little Burke Street. And so we set about, and this, this was something we, we just had over Christmas drinks. And we, I, I was a bit unsure whether it was ever going to come to fruition, but every time I saw him, I reminded him of our Christmas present. Within Little Burke Street, there's a lot of outdoor shops. And um, one of my colleagues on the, on the precinct, um, David White, was, was a very vocal about, he, said he, he kept prodding me every time we'd have a cup of coffee. Oh, what's happening with the, with the trees, Greg? So. And uh, that's when Greg Marnie decided to put in a proposal to the Melbourne City Council to get trees, just a series of trees, because it's a lovely slope that goes up like that. And with that beautiful green strip that would come down, would just absolutely dress the entire place up. Melbourne Water came on board, which was a, a great partnership, because they, they had a great idea of... Uh, because the watering of the trees was a bit of a problem. So they, they came up with an idea to use water from the drains to, to, to water the trees. Yeah, when the rains finally come down from the heavens, as they usually do eventually, but not all the time, it'll bring all the debris from the street, the cigarette butts, the paper, the rubbish, everything else, and it'll wash it straight down. And as it comes down, it goes into this particular grate that was created by Melbourne Water. And all the debris goes in there and it's trapped at this level here. Then the water from there swoops down into the other department over here. And in the other department there, that's where the tree is. So the tree is actually being watered from the water that's coming from the skies. The water then builds up to a certain level, overflows and continues on its path. But it's left behind all those little pieces of rubbish. Everything. And then they can come here, they can pull the grate out, scoop all of that rubbish up and actually place it in a place where it should be and not the river. A lot of the workers now, instead of being allowed to smoke in their offices, so they've got it, they smoke on the street. So we, we put in a lot of cigarette butts, places for cigarettes, ashtrays, and we, we made it our duty to make sure we emptied those. And it was a, so it was a good mixture. It was a Melbourne, Melbourne Water, the City of Melbourne and the, and the Precinct Association. Um, we also had to work very closely with the traders because it was very important that they told their staff about the problems we were having. Um, and, and so it was a whole education thing. But, but it's, I think after the 12 or 18 months it's been going, it's been very worthwhile. And, every, and people are now much more conscious of the, the environment and a lot more conscious of the, what, what, we're, what we're doing in the, in the street. If governments get together and uh, talk about what they can do to supply water to the humans without having to interrupt the flow of the creeks and the rivers. Uh, if that can be done, and I'm hoping it can be done, it would be absolutely wonderful because then the flows would be getting back to what they were normally. And then all the infrastructure that was in those flows would then come back to life again. And we would oh, it'd be a much, much, much better place. That would be my wish.